Today, we're installing the Easy Carry Carrier System. Before beginning, verify that you have the appropriate unit for your system layout. Stand facing the fixture. If flow is from the right, the Zern system is right-handed. If flow is from the left, the Zern system is left-handed. The system includes a fitting with no hub connections, adjustable faceplate, front leg supports, coupling, gasket, rear anchor tie-down, and fixture mounting hardware. Anchors and no hub coupling are not included. You can skip ahead or revisit a step at any time. Before we get started, have your tape measure, ratchet, sockets, torque wrench, and hammer handy. You'll also need a strap wrench or coupling wrench and a crescent or box wrench. Step 1. Set up the system. Lay the carrier fitting on the floor with the waistline barrel down. Remove the faceplate from the trim kit box. Align the slots with the gasket and fitting holes. Use your ratchet wrench to tighten the four half-inch bolts, which can be found in the hardware bag. Tighten the bolts at opposite corners to secure evenly. Step 2. Adjust the height. The faceplate is preset to 5 and a quarter inches rough in height. If you need to modify for ADA compliance, loosen the feet bolts. Adjust the two top bolts to the desired height. Make sure to keep the feet parallel and tack on height to your adjustment if tilting is necessary during installation. Once height is determined, secure the two holes furthest on the feet. Using a torque wrench, apply between 25 and 35 foot-pounds of torque. Note, rough-in heights under 6 and 3 8 inch may need a portion of the faceplate to be removed. In that case, use a hammer to remove a portion of the faceplate by placing the cut line on an edge and hitting the side you want to remove. Loosen the faceplate bolts to adjust the waistline height and pitch as needed. Resecure the bolts with your torque wrench. Step 3. Assemble the anchor foot. Thread the rod into the top of the rear anchor foot. Then, secure with a half-inch jam nut. Next, place a nut, a lock washer, and a flat washer onto the threaded rod. Insert the threaded rod up through the underside of the rear lug. And an additional washer and nut on the top of the all-thread rod. Before you tighten the nuts, check if the anchor foot sits level on the floor. Step 4. Align for anchoring. Align the carrier with the waistline. Mark locations on the floor for the anchoring studs. Prep the floor for the concrete anchors. Place the carrier back into position. Use half-inch anchors to lag down the feet. Follow the anchor manufacturer's instructions. Step 5. Installing the O-ring. This is a critical step. Don't let your O-ring become an oh-no. Improper installation can result in leakage behind the wall. Find your O-ring and lubricant bag. Lubricate the O-ring and coupling like this. 
Once lubed, insert the O-ring into the groove. Step 6. Installing the coupling. Thread the coupling by hand into the faceplate until it engages with the O-ring and begins to resist. Use your coupling wrench or strap wrench to create a watertight seal. Make sure the coupling engages the O-ring when threading into the faceplate. Extend the coupling to 5 16 of an inch past the finished wall. Are the coupling threads protected from debris? If so, proceed. If the coupling must be shortened, cut from the threaded end. Chamfer the end and thoroughly deburr to prevent damage to the O-ring. Step 7. Prep the finished wall. Now, grab your finish bag. Fasten the four threaded rods into the faceplate until each rod extends 5 eighths of an inch past the closet bowl flange. Once again, take care to prevent leakage. If the threaded rods are too long, they will bottom out in the finishing cap nut. Tighten the jam nuts using a box wrench. Slide the protectors onto each threaded rod. Test the pressure based on your local code requirements. Now, construct the finish wall and make the coupling opening in the wall to the appropriate size. Remove any protective materials from the coupling and remove the threaded rod protectors. Ensure the coupling extends 5 16 of an inch from the finished wall. Knock out the test cap with your hammer and deburr the sharp edges. If the coupling is longer than 14 inches, the knockout feature does not apply. Thread the backup nut and bearing washer into the 5 8 inch rod. Adjust each bearing washer to 1 16 of an inch past the finish wall. The washers must be in the same plane to properly support the fixture. Step 8. Complete the installation. Peel off the backing from one side of the Neo Seal gasket. Set the gasket into the groove of the water closet's outlet horn. Now, peel off the opposite adhesive backing and hang the water closet onto the threaded rods. Make sure the gasket seals to the coupling. For the next steps, imagine that the water closet is in place on the threaded rods. Assemble a fiber washer and a cap nut onto each rod. Tighten by hand. Give an additional half turn with your wrench. Now your water closet is installed and secured. Thank you for installing your carrier with us today. We hope you found it useful. Visit Zern.com for more product resources.